Hi, welcome to Eric's Welsh Garden. It's Friday the 21st of September today. I've just put the chickens to bed and I'm just heading back into the house. Sorry, it's really dark, I've just realised, because it's getting dark really early now. So I think it's only about half past seven now. And I am obviously under the trees here, so let me just get out of the trees. I hope everyone's um, polytunnels and greenhouses and things have survived. Everything in my garden's been pretty um, good, really. A couple of my Jerusalem artichokes have tipped over, and my um, globe artichokes are looking a little bit windswept. But everything else, and especially my woodland, all the trees are up, and nothing's fallen or broken. So really happy with that. I just want to do a quick video this evening just to talk to you about my um, allotment, what I'm going to be growing and answering a few questions because quite a few of you have been asking um, different things. So I'm just going to head inside now and um, carry on that video there. As you can see um, from the background, everything in my garden here is completely overgrown. So I've got a lot of work to be done here. But anyway, I'm going to head inside now and go from there oh look behind me here that is my greenhouse that is still not up that is in the pipeline though so watch your space sorry about the lighting out there i didn't realize how dark it had got outside um but i'm inside now and i wanted to talk to you about my plans for the allotment this year and next year and also show you the um garlic and onions that i'm going to be planting this sunday um i thought I'd kind of get through all of that now rather than trying to talk to you about all of that on Sunday when I've possibly got a limited time frame to get on with all of that work. So um, firstly, I'll talk to you about the onions that I've got. Okay, so I'm going to be growing two lots of onion sets this autumn. The first one is Senche Yellow and the second one is Red Onion called Electric. Now, the reason I'm growing both of these is just because Wyvale Garden Centre sent me a £5 voucher with like no minimum, minimum spend. And when I popped in there today, these are just the two um, packs of 80 that they have. Um, so I only actually paid £3 for the both of those, which I think works out to be like 1.8p per onion. Um, obviously, if all of them grew, which is very unlikely. So I'm growing those two there. I also have the um, Germor um, shallots there that I picked up from Liz this weekend and I've also got some red sun shallots that I grew this year um, and I never even actually cleaned them up so they still look like this um, but with red sun I got these um, in about January last year and when I look online some places say that they're spring planting and some say they're autumn so I might possibly just sow a couple of them this autumn and then the rest of them in January because I know they definitely did okay in January so if you have any experience though with red sun let me know what you think um with the garlic that I'm growing I have this one here which is um germidor and I've got um just two garlic bowls of that and I'm also growing this Casablanca one I've seen quite a lot of you that's got three in there um, quite a lot of you talking about your Wilco cell halls and stuff and you guys pick these up as well so um, I'm going to be planting them this Sunday but let me know if you are growing them as well that you are growing them and let me know when you've planted them because it'd be really interesting to see how they do um, in comparison I've also kind of gone out on a bit of a limb here because I managed to pick up well I didn't manage I just went to Tesco and picked up some of their like normal cheap garlic um, this variety is called Morado and it's a Spanish one. Now, obviously in Spain, the climate's totally different. It was probably grown in a polytunnel as well. Um, but I thought because it's 69p for four cloves, that it would be, um, not four cloves, four bulbs, it would be worth having a go and just seeing, you know, how they do. Now they are quite small bulbs actually, if you have a look compared to um, kind of, these ones here so you can see they are much smaller but I don't know if they're just much smaller because they are um you know a smaller variety or they've been pulled out earlier or that they're maybe in the factory you know where they get processed they get put in different sizes and the bigger ones get sold you know to the you know higher paying person and you know because they're the Tesco value ones they're smaller I'm not sure so I thought I'd give that a go 
um, but also at my allotment we have polytunnels and when I got my allotment he did say that he was working out you know there'd never been any rules before with the polytunnels basically there was a space you could just put whatever you wanted in there um, but he said this year when they had the kind of meeting he was thinking about actually splitting them up so everybody knew which part of the polytunnel belonged to them but I was going to possibly message him and say was there an area in you know the polytunnel that I could use this autumn because um you know I could potentially put these in there or I could actually put a couple of all of the varieties that I'm growing in there just to see how they compare with being grown outside as well so there is that possibility too um so yeah that's what I'm growing this year oh I have also um ordered some elephant garlic as well I saw Jane on Jane's allotment putting some in the other day and they looked really massive and the way she kind of explained how you know you put them in the oven and then you kind of squeeze them out and you have this lovely mild garlic flavour you know it just really sold it to me so I've got two bulbs of that coming as well and they have been posted now so hopefully it's very unlikely that they they come tomorrow but early next week um hopefully they'll be here and then I can also plant those as well um so yeah that's it for what I'm growing or what I'm going to be planting this weekend let me know how it compares with the varieties that you've got or if you've got any tips um for me that would be lovely okay so now I've shown you the garlic and the onions that I'm going to be growing this year I wanted to quickly just chat to you about my plans for how I'm going to split the allotment up or you know how I'm going to grow things there so um, when I measured it the other day I thought it was you know 10 by 5 but actually it turns out it's more like 7 by 6 so it's taken it from 50 meters squared down to 42 meters squared which considering it's only 15 pounds a year is more than enough space um, so what I got thinking about was actually splitting the kind of plot up into meter squared areas um, so what I'm going to do on Sunday is I'm going to be planting my onions into meter squared areas and also the garlic as well. So um, what I worked out was with a meter it's about 40, just under 40 inches. So if you've got a meter square and you plant onions um, five inches apart from each other, you can, this is a really bad picture, but you can get a 49 onions in a meter square area now obviously they're quite close together compared to you know if, if you obviously grew them you know further apart from each other so they're possibly grow a little bit smaller but I thought that was a really interesting um kind of experiment to grow them like this to see if I get 49 decent um sized onions next year now um I did find a guy on YouTube that um did grow this way and he I think he put 64 onions in that area and they grew to be kind of quite small but still manageable but then when chatting to other people um, recently giving them my idea they all mentioned that actually you'd probably prefer a, less onions but bigger onions and that's true so what I thought is if you um, like I said you know grow um, or plant like this you can get about 49 in so that's what I'm going to try this weekend and see how that kind of progresses. I've got some used coffee grounds and some um, ash as well. I think I've already just said that. So I'll be kind of putting that into the soil as well. If you um, grow garlic six or I think it was eight inches apart from each other, then I think you can fit 25 in that meter square area. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And um, I'm really excited to see how it works and if it is easy to kind of crop rotate with that kind of you know style and um i'll be going from there now with the rest of the plot though obviously i'm not going to be growing anything this year so my plans for soil improver are um i've got loads of leaf mold from my um woodland garden last year so i'm going to be getting that to the plot and i'm also going to be getting some worm casts from my wormeries and I'm also going to visit a local beach and get some seaweed as well. Um, I'm going to put that down on the plot. Um, possibly I'll be moving back the plastic and putting it down and then putting cardboard over the top so it can kind of rot down and things like that over kind of, you know, the next, um, you know, over winter basically. So that's my plans um, for 
this weekend really and the foreseeable future with the plot but I'm sure it will evolve anyway so if you've got any advice about anything I've kind of talked about or you know what you think then please let me know also I just want to tell you that so far I've spent seven pounds on um or seven pounds 69 actually on all of the um garlic and onions obviously the germals and the red sun haven't cost me anything this year and I'm hoping that I can grow a year's supply of garlic but also have enough um that I'm able to save it for next year so that actually you know I can be self-sufficient on garlic and never have to buy any um cloves again so um you know it'd be really interesting actually to hear from you how much you spend on your allotment if you try and you know do it as cheaply as possible or if you um you know just spend whatever you want basically so let me know how much you spend and if you actually keep accounts of your allotment um I know um a few of you on YouTube do so yeah I'll be really interested to know um but I think I'm going to leave it here now and hopefully the weather is great on Sunday so I can get loads and loads of gardening done at the allotment um my childcare which are the grandparents are away the entire um the entirety of October so I'll have no weekday gardening day so I really want to get this all sorted as much as possible so yeah fingers crossed with the weather and I'm going to leave it here um I'll see you all soon thanks very much for watching um you know if you my new blah, 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 blah. if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um I'll catch you all soon thanks very much